Breaking news stories. First, Lenore City High School is on a soft lockdown after an active shooter threat was posted on social media. Our Richard Mason joins us right now live from the school. Richard, you've been talking with school leaders in the area, authorities who are on scene and parents. Also, Richard, a few students who are detained for questioning. Tell us what you're learning, what's happening now. Well, the school is still currently in that soft lockdown stage uh, after a social media threat that was found on Snapchat, uh, where essentially uh, the school had to go into lockdown because of that threat. I'm going to step aside so you can actually see behind me here on Harrison Road, cars are backed up uh, with parents inside uh, desperately trying to get to the school to actually pick up their, their kids. Uh, and um, again, that's Harrison Road, uh, which as you can see is backed up. Um, but I did speak a little while ago with a parent who was very, very concerned uh, about the situation and how the fact that they, she felt, um, you know, the law enforcement could have gotten there uh, to the school a little sooner. Take a look at this. You're an hour late with the information. I've already been to the school and now I'm freaking out. The whole world is parked out here wondering what's going on with their kids. You know, and again, the school is currently, it's uh, deemed safe by officials. I spoke to the sheriff, Sheriff Davis, who told me a soft lockdown essentially looks like when uh, the, the, the students could walk around campus, uh, the doors are all unlocked, uh, and their parents could essentially come and pick up the kids. Uh, and uh, Dr. Uh, Barker told me that more than 1,200 students are at this school. So to please uh, be patient if you're on Harrison Road and you're trying to make your way here to the school to pick up your child. Richard, we will continue to follow this story as uh, this develops and um, get to the bottom of what's going on there in Lenore City. Richard Mason reporting for us. Thank you, Richard. We're also following.